some of the things that happened during a wild high-speed pursuit that came to an end in Culver City. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Michelson is there live to show us how it all unfolded. Alex. Well, Mark, we're at Tuller Avenue in Culver City, and this is where the pursuit ended. And you can see up here why. That sign that says no outlet. There was nowhere for that driver to go. Authorities tell us that she was clearly intoxicated, and you can see that when you take a look at her driving skills. The pursuit that ended with the suspect literally kicking and screaming started with officers fearing that same woman was about to commit suicide in Fountain Valley. We were told that there was a female in her car with a hose sticking outside of the car. When our officers arrived on scene, the female drove away and northbound onto the 405 freeway. That suspect kept driving from Fountain Valley all the way to Culver City on the 405, where she cut through several lanes of traffic towards the Washington Boulevard off-ramp. When she ran out of room to keep going forward, she slammed her car into what appears to be a power box of some kind. And she didn't stop there. Boom. She didn't let this white Prius get in her way, nor this nearby fence. She kept on going. Meanwhile, witnesses say that box she struck started sparking. Some burning smell at the back of the kitchen. And then we come out and see there's a little bit fire. Up ahead, CHP officers attempted a pit maneuver, but that didn't work. She eventually turned on the taller and headed out of the car. She got out of her vehicle, started yelling, help, help, help me. Then she pointed her hands at the officers, acting like she was holding a gun. Our officers helped had great restraint. When she eventually falls to the ground, the officers don't do anything until she heads back into her car. Then officers drag her out by the hair. Officers didn't find any weapons inside that avalanche. The vehicle is registered to Deborah Penkoff, who has a previous drunk driving conviction. <laughs> Authorities won't confirm if that was the woman driving the car on this day. She's going to get the care she needs and hopefully doesn't attempt this again. That suspect is in the hospital tonight. She's on a 5150 psychiatric hold, and she will remain there for at least 72 hours. Reporting live from Culver City tonight, Alex Michaels, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you. It was an